Are you ready, kids? Aye, aye, Captain! I can't hear you! Aye, aye, Captain! Who? Who's in the fight of Colombo? Welcome to Bikini Bottom, a normally peaceful undersea sanctuary. Today it will be transformed into a theater of pure horror, wherein our little yellow friend will play the starring role. Today is the big day. I have devised an ingenious plan to finally steal the Krabby Patty formula. And if Bikini Bottom happens to get demolished in the process, oh well. <laughs> With my brand new Duplicatotron 3000, I'll clone an army of robots that will wreak mayhem and destruction at my command! One last review of the checklist. Let's see. Item number one. Is Plankton a genius? Answer, yes! Okay, checklist complete. Throw at the switch! <laughs> Welcome, my perfectly obedient robot army! Hang on! I want to get a photo for my scrap... Oh, hey, hello? What do you think you're doing? Oh, no, 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 wait! Wait! But I'm your master! I made you! No! No! Oh, my good China! Another perfect day playing robots and racehorses. Yeah, only I keep getting the racehorses and the robots mixed up. Wouldn't it be great if we had real robots to play with, Patrick? I'd name mine Robo Jr. or Zorlon or maybe Frankie. Yeah, these unreal robots are getting boring. Hey, what if we put the robots in here? Oh, how shellfish of you. <laughs> it's not just any shell. It's my magic wishing shell. That's great, Patrick. So we put the toy robots in here. Okay. Then we say the magic wishing words and shake the magic wishing shell. Okay. Then we go to sleep, and in the morning, we'll have real robots to play with. But Patrick, aren't we going to say the magic wishing words? You already did. So, okay is the magic wishing word? It used to be Alakazama Alabala Wisna Tikitana Fushbar Griddle Bits Von Wiedeschnauzer, but I kept forgetting it. Are you sure this'll work? Sure. Last week, I only had one big cookie crumb and I was really hungry. So I put my cookie crumb in the magic wishing shell, then I said the magic wishing word and shook it, and in the morning, I had lots of little cookie crumbs. Patrick, I proclaim that tomorrow is going to be the best day ever. Good night, SpongeBob. Good night, Patrick. The next morning... <laughs> gonna play with robots, gonna play with robots, gonna play with robots, gonna play with... Wow! Uh, Gary, did you do that? Yeah, Gary, it sure looks like we're in a doozy of a pickle. I think I'm gonna have to learn a lot in order to fix this mess. Ow! What a fantastic idea! These signs will provide important tips to help me out. Um, how do I read the signs? Ow! Oh, okay! Press this button to read the signs. Ow! So if I want to come back and talk to you again, just walk up to you and press this button. I'd better get started now, Gary. I think that this is going to be a very long day. Breaking news! 
Bikini Bottom residents have been attacked by a raging torrent of robot horror. So much for fixing this quietly. <laughs> Authorities are not sure who is responsible for unleashing the mechanical menaces, but they have assured us that the person is in big, big trouble. Uh-oh. Did I say big trouble? I meant so enormous that it's hard to comprehend trouble. We'll keep you posted as this tragic story unfolds. Tragically, we're sure. Breaking news! A note from Mr. Krabs! And it even smells sweaty, just like him. Ahoy there, SpongeBob! As a faithful crew member of the Krusty Krab, you've been, er, promoted to head shiny object collector. Wow! A promotion! That's right! A promotion! So what this here new job entails is you collecting all these shiny objects that the robots are leaving behind and bringing them to me. Now stop seahorsing around and get busy collecting. It shines! I make myself a snack, but there's no time! All my old comic books. Push, push, push.
Ah, there's nothing like the sounds of your own neighborhood. Go away, SpongeBob. You're polluting my thinking space. Trying to steal the Krabby Patty formula again, eh, Plankton? Well, you won't get away with it. I've got bigger fish to fry. I've got to figure out how to regain control of the chum bucket from those robots. Where did they come from? Where? Um, I don't know. Not for me, though, that's for sure. They just showed up out of nowhere and started calling me rude names and throwing things. <laughs> they even bent all my spoons. I love those spoons like they were my children. That's terrible. Oh, won't you help me stop them? Before they bend all my forks? Not the forks! Of course I'll help. But wait, I'm supposed to collect a whole lot of golden spatulas. Golden spatulas, eh? SpongeBob, if you can get me back into the chum bucket, I'll give you a bucket full of golden spatulas. In your dreams. You've got a deal. Hey, SpongeBob! I just dropped by to give you a bubble hand. Bubble buddy. You see, you're going to need to learn some new bubble-blowing moves if you're going to journey to the ninth dimension and defeat the giant monkey man. But, uh, all I need to do is figure out how to get rid of these robots. Oh, yeah, sorry. I've been in the soap bottle a little too long. Where were we? Uh, something about new bubble moves. Right! Press this button and you'll launch yourself straight up in the air with bubble power that defeats anything that is directly above you. Try it out! It shines! Hey, Patrick. Nice sock. What sock? The one you're standing on. Oh, that one. It's lost. Well, if that one's lost, where are your other socks? Well, they're more lost. A bunch of robots came through here and stole my whole sock collection. I could use some help getting them back. Sure thing, Patrick. What are best friends for? Okay, then. For every ten socks you bring back to me, I'll give you a golden turkey baster. You mean spatula? Bless you. <laughs> that I'll be willing to trade to you for some of those shiny objects. You will? Of course. What are employers for? Besides, them shiny objects is worth lots of money. Your treasure chest's looking a bit light, boy. Do you think I've got bilge water on the brain? I ain't running a charity here. Come back when you've got enough shiny objects to trade. <laughs>
first. Those stupid robots ruined a perfectly relaxing mud bath this morning. And now you show up. Can my day get any more dreary? I am so sorry, Squidward. Patrick and I were just playing a game and... Oh, I correct myself. I should have known that whole robot problem involved both of you. Squidward, I don't know what to do. How can I fix everything? Why don't you move to another town? That should help out more than enough. Ha, <laughs> ha, move to another town. Ha, I crack me up. <laughs> but seriously, just jump around like an idiot. That should at least make me smile. <laughs> Stop jumping, will you? If you take this golden spatula, will you please go away? See, Squidward? I knew that you could help me out. You're the best. Mm. Don't touch me. Ah, the rolling green hills of jellyfish fields. A place to experience nature at its most raw, and sometimes a bit tender from the stings. Are you okay? No, I'm not okay, you barnacle head. Do I look like I'm okay? Well, your nose does look pretty big. I mean, bigger than usual because it's usually pretty big. And you look clammy. And oh my gosh, you're bald! I've always been bald, but now I'm stung all over. Well, according to the Jellyfisher Field Manual, severe jellyfish stings can be treated effectively by applying a thick layer of King Jellyfish Jelly to the affected areas. <laughs> King J -J Jellyfish! Well, I guess you're off to scale Sport Mountain and die a horrible death under the vicious tentacles of King Jellyfish. <laughs> I'll stay here, balled up here in excruciating pain. You do that! Don't worry, Squidward! I'll bring back that King Jellyfish jelly for you to rub all over yourself.
foraging for robots.
like a spring breeze. and toys and mail. Hey, huh? W what? Oh, yeah, it's that sponge kid. And now, what was I supposed to tell you? That Patrick is surrounded by robots and needs my help. Huh? Oh, no. I think it had something to do with massaging my feet. Well, if massaging your feet will save Patrick, then massage I must. Help! They're making me hit myself! Massaging your feet isn't working. I think I'd better try a more direct approach. By clipping my toenails? Here I come, Patrick! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
satisfying. Push, 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 push. SpongeBob. Woo! Thank goodness you're safe, Patrick. Well, of course, SpongeBob. Why wouldn't I be? Well, the robots and the... Oh, yeah, I found this for you. I don't know what it is, but it looks important. Thanks, Patrick. I tell you what, all that running around has left me pooped. Why don't you continue on for a bit? Okay. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Mr. Plankton, are you going to vaporize me today? So very tempting. Unfortunately, I found myself in the undesirable position of having to assist you. I was in an undesirable position yesterday, and now my neck hurts. Heed my words, my large future minion. Go into Jellyfish Cave. Follow the instructions on the signs that you see. At the end of the caves, you'll still be a big pink idiot, but you'll know enough to help defeat the robots and get me back into the chum bucket. Well, then will you vaporize me? I might spare your life so I can force you to work in my sweatshop, making low-quality design and knockoff wallets. Oh, thank you.
Hey there! Squidward tells me you're looking for the King Jellyfish. Yes. Good thing, too. That monster has been stinging all my good customers in their poop decks. I hear that you can find him up top of Old Sport Mountain here. Go hook that beast, sailor! Oh boy, Mr. Krabs. I'll see what I can do. What are you waiting for, boy? Go get that King Jellyfish!
Mrs. Puff. Hello, Patrick. I've got a job for you to do. Oh, boy. I found a golden spatula, but those robots out on the island stole it and threw it into the lake. If you can figure out how to get it back, you're welcome to it. Show sure enough, Mrs. Puff. Patrick, you're a real star. <laughs> Did I get a cookie? No.
Dungeonator. Everyone is trying to help out today. Step quietly there. That king jellyfish is just up at the top of this path. Good luck. 
You'll need it. Thanks, Bubble Buddy. I knew the King Jellyfish was big, but who knew he had such a beautiful voice? <laughs> Problem. You can do anything you set your mind and your muscle to. Oh, yeah. Oh, that feels so much better. Anything for my best friend Squidward. Can I rub some on? Uh, what if I just gave you this?
downtown Bikini Bottom, once a bustling metropolis, now a debris-covered crater. SpongeBob, the robots are destroying downtown Bikini Bottom. We have to evacuate! All right, but it's gonna take a while to get all this dust. Not vacuum, evacuate. We have to get everyone to safety. Can we just load them up in the boats? That won't do any good. Why not? Because the robots have taken all the steering wheels. Couldn't we just drive in a straight line? No, there are too many turns. Those fiends, they thought of everything. Never fear, Mrs. Puff, I'll get those steering wheels back. SpongeBob, if you're involved, I always fear. But I tell you what, if you can pull this off, I'll give you a golden spatula. How about a driver's license instead? Nice try. Number one for the Pink Bottom Scavenger Hunt, three years running. The most satisfying. Push, 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 push.
scavenger hunt three years running.
door is locked from the inside. Who would do such a thing? I have been working out. Meow. Not done? Doesn't that mean... Meow. Oh, that's the entrance to the rooftops which leads to the lighthouse? Aha! Uh -huh. There's another golden spatula. I could really use that. Meow. What do you mean get Sandy to help me? I can get through this. Oh, that gap looks big. Okay, I'm definitely not making that jump. How is anyone going to get across there? Uh-oh, more robots. Holy Dutchman's ghost! That gap looks impossible! And impassable! Okay, okay, I'll go get Sandy to help me out. <laughs> You are, boy. Someone's broken the sea needle. That's horrible. The sea needle is the cradle of Crochet Corner. Yes, yes it is. But what's more important is that there are tiki's and shiny objects just outside the windows. Mr. Krabs, how can you think of money at a time like this? Easy. I just clear my mind. Money, money, money. 
Now listen here, boy. You know that I'll give you golden spatulas if you bring me shiny objects. But I'm going to sweeten the deal. If you can break all the tiki's here at the Sea Needle, I'll give you a bonus golden spatula. Why would I want to break the tiki's, Mr. Krabs? Uh, because they were laughing at you and calling you funny names. What kind of funny names? Um, you know, SpongeBob butt pants. That's not very funny. Uh, no. But they said your mom was ugly. Ugly? All right, Mr. Krabs, break the my cell. You've got a deal. <laughs>
use all these.
What's shaking? Sandy! Boy, am I glad to see you. I need your help. My TV reception has been terrible lately. I need to have someone replace my old antenna with this shiny new one. Yes, sir. That there antenna is shinier than a $3 bill. Well, why don't you replace it yourself? I'm not really much of a jumper. So, what's jumping got to do with it? Because the old antenna is up there. Woo! That's taller than a glass of Texas iced tea. The robots have blocked off that building, and I can't do all those fancy moves you and SpongeBob do to get across these gaps. All I can do is flex! Wanna see? Yeah, great. Uh, so what are you gonna do with the old antenna? Oh, that? It's yours if you replace it with a new one. Well, I have been getting bad TV reception in the tree dome. Okay, Larry, you got a deal.
There's another one.
stupid taxes.
years running. Thank you. to open this door from the inside. Okay, sorry I asked. Here's the golden spatula that I promised you. Thanks, Mrs. Puff. Now I'll help you guys evacuate. But SpongeBob, you don't have a driver's license. Oh, don't I? No, no you don't. Well, if I don't, then what's this? A library card. Oh. Lagoon, a sun-drenched beach of sludge at the bottom of the sea. But all is not well here on Paradise. SpongeBob, do I look burned? Well, you do look a little red. Barnacles! That darn robot. Robot? Yeah, a big robot stole everybody's sunscreen. Oh no! Everyone will burn! And then they'll get all itchy and peel. Exactly! You can't spend a day at the beach without sunscreen. That sun is way too hot. 
That robot is out on the island. Nobody can get to him. SpongeBob, maybe you can use those sun reflectors to point the sun's rays on that robot. If you hit one of the buttons on the side of a lifeguard tower, the reflector will turn. Connect all the towers and the light will shoot right out of the big reflector on the island. Then all you have to do is swim out to the island and turn the big reflector onto the robot. I'll stay here <laughs> and protect the babes. But I uh, can't swim.
like they're having a lot of fun. Yes, too much fun, if you ask me. You can save the children by bubble bashing each of the balloons. Bubble bash all the balloons, then come see me for a reward. Can do, Mrs. Bob. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
as a reward. you are collecting golden spatulas. Yes, Bubble Buddy, I am. Have you seen one? Why, yes. We were having a sandcastle contest, and somebody put a golden spatula on the top. If I had a castle, I'd name it Fort Patty Town III, and Fort Patty Town III would have a big bake sale every Monday. Um, the golden spatula? Oh, at the top of the sandcastle, right. That should be easy to reach. Well, perhaps you should see for yourself. Ah! Sometimes pushing a simple button is the most satisfying. Push, 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 push. Water, rising, must get to higher. Run!
Starfish, what are you? I'm a figment of SpongeBob's imagination. Oh, that makes sense.
Gary, what's new? Ow. You don't say. Squidward bought a new sweater. Oh, he's so crazy. Ow. And there's a golden spatula at the end of this cave. Wow.
one part. Help me find Patrick. I have a task that I think he can help me with. So the pesky robot has taken over me ticket booth. And worse, me money. If you help me get rid of that no-good robot, I'll give you a big reward. there all alone.
Try not to destroy any more of the pier, will you? SpongeBob, you're king of the beach. Here, have a golden spatula. I have brought you to here to face a great challenge. I've got nerves of steel and muscles of sand. And eyes of jelly. My Poseidon has been breached by a mighty foe whom you must vanquish. Bring it on, your highness. Bring it on. In this corner, defending the Poseidon, a small square guy. <laughs> Challenger! A huge murderous robot shaped like a squirrel! Look, it's 
it's a giraffe. Uh, I think I need to get home to feed Gary. Looks like the robot left itself vulnerable. Great barrier reef. Electrifying match! Cool. <laughs> 
quite a battle. Tell him what he's won, Johnny. It's a new power, the Bubble Bowl. But wait, there's more, a golden spatula. And that's not all, a gift certificate for $5.32 to Dean's Little Shop of Dried Fish Flakes and Flowers. Oh, thank you, it all means so much, I... I... I promised myself I wouldn't cry. Cry all you want, but not here. We just wax the floors. Hey, Plankton. Yes, what is it? I was just wondering why all the robots seem to be coming from inside the chum bucket. Have they? I really haven't noticed. Uh, yeah. And then there's that big flashing neon sign that says, Robot Headquarters. SpongeBob, I'm your friend, right? No, not really. Exactly, and as your non-friend, I worry about you. Like right now, you're thinking too much. I'm worried you might really hurt yourself. Tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna think for you. This way, you won't hurt yourself. And you can just keep working on getting me into the jump bucket. Thanks, Plankton. You're the best non-friend a friend could have. No more thinking for me. <laughs> Distance. Wow! Remember, though, the bubble bowl only works on things that are close to the ground. Got it.
My tree dome is leaking! Them there robots busted up the last SpongeBob. I got a treehouse chock full of robots and it's all your fault. So get in there and clean up your mess. Welcome to the dark depths of Rock Bottom, home of strange creatures and souvenir t-shirts. I'm actually glad you're here, believe it or not. I'm glad I'm here too, Mrs. Puff. The robots have stolen priceless artwork from the museum. If you can return it all to me, I'll reward you with a golden spatula. Why do you want all that artwork? Don't ask questions you aren't prepared to handle the answer to. Consider the artwork saved, Mrs. Puff.
Lunch. Bubble Buddy, for a bubble, you really get around. SpongeBob, the robots are plundering Rock Bottom's museum, but they've broken the roadway leading up there. You'll have to be clever and find another route to get in. What if I lick all these stamps and mail myself? Could work, but perhaps being sneaky would be faster. Coming at ya. button is the most satisfying. Push, 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 push.
good use of all these. You on patrol down here? No, this is my second job. I, I work security. Now listen, if you want to reach the Golden Spatula, you need to shut off the museum's security system. You have to iron those pants or are they wrinkle free? I'm ahead, Mr. Kid. This is serious stuff. Now, if we don't get this robot thing resolved, Shady Shoals will shut down and I'll have to move back in with my son and his wife and his four screaming kids. Now, you see that vent on the other side of the museum? Yes, sir! That's where you exit the museum. Good luck, kid. I won't let you down, Barnacle Boy.
technique. Button is the most satisfying. Push, 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 push. Thank <laughs> you. 
Engineers running. I'll be extra, extra, extra careful. Most satisfying. Push, 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 push.
nonsense. I only want to help. Help crush you all under my rise to power. What was that? Nothing. Say, see those lasers there? You mean them things that look like fancy washing machines? To your puny brain, I suppose. You'll need to turn on each one of those in order to cross the last part of the Trench of Advanced Darkness. This better not be some kind of trick, varmint. I've got my eye on yours, Plankton. SpongeBob, I command you to bring Sandy to me for this next job. Oh, <laughs> 
Mr. Krabs, what are you doing? Well, I could have sworn me I saw a golden spatula here a minute ago, but I think it fell down this slide. Down the slide? It might have broken its leg. I've got to save it. Go, boy, go! Save that poor spatula!
job, SpongeBob. That was some fancy sliding. Thanks. I guess all that pant wax I bought has finally paid off. of artwork accounted for, Mrs. Puff. I left no strange glowing stone unturned. Well now, nice work, SpongeBob. The museum will finally be able to reopen. And here's your reward. I'm ready for driving school to start up again after all these robots are gone. Hmm. Maybe these robots aren't so bad after all. I think it's time for a victory screech.
there, Barnacle Boy. Say, warn me if that sponge kid comes back again, okay? Hey you there. <laughs> Well, what do you know? You pulled it off. Congratulations, kid. Now, if I could only find my dentures. Well, what do you know?
wasn't so hard, was it? After all these robots are gone. Hmm. Don't do that stuff anymore, kid. We're retired. Is that the TV repairman? No, it's that excited sponge kid again. Oh, uh, are you sure he can't fix the TV? Mermaid Man, it would be my greatest honor to fix your television. Goody! Hey, sponge kid, you really want to help out? No, oh boy, would I? Okay, then. Uh, but lighten up a bit on the enthusiasm, huh? Uh, you're making my bowels act up. Uh, we've got a little problem with some robots down in the Mermelair. Are you sure you're up to this task? Absolutely, Barnacle Boy! Well, go over to the couch to access the Mermelair. We'll meet you down there. Is it pudding night yet? Ah, uh, Checkers, the king of non-contact sports. Bottom news update. We're getting unconfirmed reports that the robot menace is emanating from the chum bucket. The proprietor, Plankton, has released the following statement. Hear me now. I'll crush you all beneath my... And now back to your regular programming, Retirement Home Girls Gone Wild. <laughs> If I were you, I'd get going fast. Mm-hmm. 
Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. Ah! You shouldn't sneak up on Mermaid Man like that. His heart's not so good. Come to think of it, nothing on him is that good anymore. Sorry, Mermaid Man. It's just that I'm always so excited to see you two. Standing in your awesome presence gives me the chills of justice. See? I've got goosebumps on my goosebumps on my goosebumps on my goosebumps on my... All right, kid. Knock it off. Just tell us what you want. Well, I really want a new pair of sunglasses. Patrick sat on my old ones. That's not what I meant. <sighs> Actually, it's a good thing you showed up, young sponge of goodness. It is? It is? Yes! A bunch of evil robots have taken over the Mermelair security system. It's up to you to shut it down and stop them! Well, why him? We're perfectly capable superheroes. Because it's Thursday and we have a whole bunch of doctor's appointments. Ah, fish sticks. I forgot. Go talk to the Mermelair computer in the next room. She'll tell you what to do. I accept this awesome responsibility, Mermaid Man. You won't be disappointed. Shamed, maybe, but not disappointed. To the doctor's office! Away!
The Mermelair. Secret portraits of the wrinkly superheroes Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. Squidward, am I happy to see you? And not just the kind of happy you feel in the front of your knees, but the kind of happy you feel in the back of your elbow. Or you'll never believe what's been happening. Yeah, yeah, I've already been briefed by the geriatric duo. Those two old coots sent me in to get updated with the Mermelair computer. But since you're here now, I'll let you do it. It's right over there. Oh, look at this place. I mean, please. Would it kill them to lay down a few throw rugs? And all this wasted space? How did those two old fogies make all this? Oh, that's easy. In episode 27, the Mermelair is invaded by the digging monsters of Bermuda, and they... Never mind! Uh, SpongeBob, how do I get out of here? Well, that depends. Do you want the booby-trapped or the non-booby-trapped exit? Non-booby-trapped, please. Then go that way. <laughs> or maybe it was that way.
I can get some sleep. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. need a lot more power to activate the hydroacoustic Doppler modulator. Do you think you can handle this? I can see Squidward's house from up here. And he's not wearing any pants. Oh wait, he never wears pants. Now listen up. There are eight cylinders over there. If you throw something at the cylinders, it'll turn around to the power side. Turn all eight cylinders around to the power side and I'll give you a reward. Sorry, what was that? I was watching Squidward. Just start turning those cylinders. enough power. What do you need all that power for? Why, my foot bath, of course. Here, have a golden spatula. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! security system, you need to press all the override buttons spread throughout the mermal air. The first one is here. Press the buttons! Got it! When you have pressed them all, you should return here to press the master shutdown button. You will be rewarded. Return here! Got it! Are you listening to me? Listening! Got it!
Harry, I see you've made your way down to the deepest recesses of the Mermelair. Wow! Oh, you took the elevator. Well, how do I get to the top of this room? Wow! You're right. I bet those tunnels will take me up to the top. Good thinking, Gary. No time to talk, Gary. I'm on an important mission for Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. Wow!
under that glass. Gold, I say. My eyes are getting sweaty just looking at it. All you have to do is get that great big ball into that there cup. How do I get the ball rolling, Mr. Krabs? You start the process by bubble bowling up this ramp to hit that button. Good luck, SpongeBob. My wallet's counting on you. later.
Well done, SpongeBob. Now, how's about giving old Mr. Krabs that shiny gold? I'll give you a promotion. A promotion? Sure. You'll get a whole extra ten seconds added to your break time. Woo! Twenty second break! Do I dare? Uh, no, I'm sorry, Mr. Krabs. As enticing as that sounds, I can't give this to you. I need every golden spatula I can get. I understand, boy. I'll just dock 30 seconds from your break time instead. Wow! That means I have a negative 20 second break. Oh, thanks, Mr. Krabs. I have regained control of the security system. Here is the reward I promised you. You have pressed all the security buttons. Now press the master shutdown button. Well, the security system has been shut down, and we got a good checkup. Hooray for justice in all its multi-splendor glory! Yeah, well, Justice Boy, you also cut the power to the Mermelayer's BCS. That's Villain Containment System. Is that bad? Does Mermaid Man smell like sour milk? Yes! Yes, I do! Oh, no. It looks like one of the villains has broken free. What's that? An evil doer on the loose? Who is it? Man Ray? The atomic oh, flounder? Oh. The dirty bubble? No, worse than that. He's your arch enemy. Prawn. Prawn! Did someone call? Oh, I thought maybe I was looking at superheroes. But now I see it's just a couple of pieces of gnarled driftwood. <sighs> Prawn! I'll never forgive you, you madman! What did Prawn do? The worst thing you can imagine. He put all of Mermaid Man's white clothes in the washer with a red sock. Everything I own turned pink. Pink! How horrible! Personally, I thought pink made you very pretty. Really? Sure, pretty stupid. <laughs> Yikes. What is that yellow thing? Some kind of mold? I'm not mold, I'm a sponge. There's a cellular difference. A cellular difference! Yeah, yeah, thanks for the lesson, Dr. Science. See you later, Pinky. By the seven seas, Prawn, I shall not rest until you are captured. But first, I shall have to change from my secret identity into Mermaid Man. You don't have a secret identity, you old coot. Maybe you better take care of Prawn while I take care of this. I shall avenge you, Mermaid Man!
I got the frozen wedgie for this! Is this the end of Prawn? Prawn is safely locked away again, thanks to you, Frankie. My name's SpongeBob. Here, I found this in my sock drawer, next to a bunch of pink socks. It's another golden spatula. Thank you, Mermaid Man. I shall always live my life by your shining example. Let goodness and kindness... Are you still here? Bob, how do I get out of here? Well, that depends. Sand Mountain, where sea creatures go to enjoy an afternoon of falling down. Squidward, am I glad you're here. I need to borrow your toothbrush again. What? You've used it before? Oh yeah, lots of times. I figured if you didn't know, you wouldn't mind. Fine. What do I care? I'm a wreck anyways. I try and get some exercise to relax from all this robot mess, and now everything's ruined. Because of a toothbrush? No, it's those blasted robots! They've taken over the ski slopes! How can I ski with those ugly things beating everyone up? Listen, SpongeBob, you've gotta help me! I'm gonna lose my marbles if I don't get some relaxation! i found if you keep your marbles in a bag, they don't get lost as often. In fact, I've got mine right here. It's embroidered with this lovely... Forget the marbles! I've got a better idea. If you get rid of the robots at the bottom of every slope for me, I'll give you one of those golden spatulas. Well, I don't know. It's hard to beat the extreme fun of marbles. Okay, okay, I'll give you one for each slope you clear. Now that's a deal! Get rid of those robots on the slopes, you barnacle head, and you'll find a golden spatula reward!
there must be a way up there. favorite friend in the whole world. I found another golden spatula for you. Oh, boy! Can I have it? Sure, if you fall down to the bottom of this pit. Isn't there a safer way? It's always safety with you people. Hmm, I suppose you could bungee down. Hook for a prize. Ultimate Wedgie Experience! <laughs> Keep up the good work, buddy of mine! And don't forget to help me out with the chum bucket. my time down the hill, I'll give you a golden spatula.
in the morning. Smells like victory. I've gone down this hill. 